Greetings, this is Indian in the Machine, and we have a extremely insightful message from Archangel Michael via Rona Herman Vizain, and it's part two, focus on the physical body. Allow us to give you a recap of a few of the many symptoms of ascension which you, the initiates on the path, are experiencing at this time. You find yourself withdrawing from social activities and events, which were pleasurable in the past. Loud noises, crowds, and boisterous activities disturb you, and you yearn for seclusion, and perhaps the serenity of nature. As your vibrational frequencies lift and become more harmonious, you will disengage from interaction with people, events, and places that emit lower discordant frequencies. Also, gradually, you will have less and less in common with certain friends and relatives, especially those who are negative, judgmental, and unkind to others. You may have intense bursts of energy whereby you can hardly stay still, and sometime you may feel so light inside that you barely feel your bodily form. At other times, you may feel so weighted down that you are almost sinking into the ground, and you may experience extreme fatigue. Your bodily form is going through an intense metamorphosis at an etheric and cellular level. And some of the transformational symptoms are not pleasant, especially for those who are existing in an older or somewhat debilitated bodily form. As the Kundalini, sacred fire, begins to rise up your spinal column, the etheric tube of light, you may experience times of intense inner heat while your exterior body feels cold and even clammy. Initially, that is the reason why it is best to strive for a gradual release of the Kundalini fire stored within the root chakra at the base of the spine so that you may slowly integrate the higher frequencies of God light. Faster and more are not always better when you are in the midst of the transformational process of ascension. For those in the early stages of the process, the experience of integrating some of the refined light frequencies will not be overly dramatic. However, for those starseed who are well on their way within the ascension process, those who have agreed to be world servers and help to clear the path for others. It can be a formidable and ongoing process as they integrate higher and higher frequencies of light to share with others. You may feel as though you are on a mental roller coaster as you experience many emotional ups and downs. You are tapping into and releasing much impacted energy and discordant frequency patterns from a deep cellular level. It is vitally important to allow these feelings to come to the surface so that they can be transmuted into refined light substance. It is important that you learn to become an observer of what is occurring as you objectively view, process, and rectify with loving patience and understanding that which is being revealed to you. Your eating habits may change drastically. Whatever you choose to eat, follow your inner guidance and monitor how your body feels after you have ingested anything. Your body elemental or inner body intelligence is awakening, and if you pay attention, it will direct you to the proper food and diet. 
Always remember, moderation in all things is the key. You may have many strange aches and pains, for which there is no definitive diagnosis. There are many minor chakra and meridian points within the physical body. As the higher frequencies of light try to flow throughout the body, they can meet resistance at these critical junctures. One of the most common areas of distress is in the area of the spinal column of the upper back, between the shoulder blades. You may feel as though you are losing your mind, or at least your memory. There are multidimensional levels within the brain. So as you lift your frequency patterns, the lower levels of the brain will gradually be refined. Therefore, you will no longer need or be able to access much of your negative past history, as well as much of the trivia you have stored therein. You will be gaining access to the higher levels of the brain, where your sacred mind dwells. The unification between the sacred mind and the sacred heart is an integral part of the ascension process. Beloveds, you must admit, it is an exhilarating time to be in the physical vessel, and yet your physical vessel is struggling to keep up with the ever-increasing frequencies that you are integrating moment by moment and day by day. Many of you who have not suffered colds, the flu, or intestinal disturbances for many years are again experiencing these debilitating symptoms. And some of you ask, what am I doing wrong? You are not doing anything wrong, my brave friends. It is what you are doing right that is causing some of these uncomfortable bouts of bodily distress. We acknowledge the fact that these occurrences are not pleasant to experience. However, we wish to give you another facet of truth to ponder on. Again, many of you who are deeply immersed in an accelerated transformational process are experiencing these uncomfortable symptoms as a way to quickly transmute the old negative energies within your physical vessel. You could call it a transmutation or a baptism by fire, a burning and releasing of old frequency patterns to allow the higher, more refined crystalline cells of consciousness to infiltrate and take dominion within. Not all viruses are bad, nor are all the uncomfortable symptoms you are experiencing. See them as a means to an end and serving a higher purpose. These things too will pass, dear ones. We ask you to nurture yourselves, to pay attention as never before to your physical vessels and the signals or messages your wise body elemental projects to you. How will you enjoy the beautiful world of love, joy, and abundance you are creating if your precious physical vessel is not vibrant and healthy? Join us in your personal pyramid of light, beloveds, and allow us to assist you to move through the process with ease, grace, and also great joy. May the radiance of our Father Mother God pour down upon you and fill you with the light of life everlasting. Know that we are ever near to guide and protect you. I am Archangel Michael. So that's a great message from Archangel Michael. Thank you, Michael, so much. Incredible stuff. I hope that assists people with... Um, putting their physical challenges into context and having a greater spiritual awareness of what is going on. It's a great ascension 
It involves releasing dense energy so that you can embrace the higher frequencies. Rona has been transmitting messages from Archangel Michael for several years. Her website is starquestmastery.com and it has been reposted at sananda.website. Thanks for listening.